G'day guys, Robbo here again. Today I've got a bit of a personal story for you. On this day, seven years ago, I gave up drinking. Today is the 7th of the 7th, 2020. And as I said, like, it's been seven years, so I thought on the 7th of the 7th, for seven years, I'll drink a non-alcoholic beer and tell you my experience with alcohol. Got a Carlton Zero here. I'll give you a close-up look. It says zero percent alcohol on it. Can you see that? Yeah. Damn. Cool. Yeah. So I used to drink a hell of a lot, <laughs> and like I'd go out Friday, Saturday, Sunday every weekend, pretty much from the age of eighteen. As soon as I as soon as I turned eighteen, I was going to the pub. And um, yeah, I I uh, drank pretty much all the time every weekend, and even sometimes during the week if I got bored, I got, I, I really love drinking. And you know, I thought I'd, I'd give this a go, being a non-alcoholic beer, see what it tastes like, see if it tastes anything like actual beer, and uh, we'll see how we go. Eh? Oh yeah, <laughs> yes that actually does, wow, <laughs> wasn't expecting that, it actually tastes a hell of a lot like beer, <laughs> tastes good though, but it's a bit scary because it tastes so much like beer, <laughs> mm. um, yeah. yeah, the reason, the reason why I gave up drinking was um, I, I got to, towards the end of my drinking days I used to get a fair bit of pain in my stomach every time I drank didn't matter if I drank uh, one drink or 50 drinks I, I would, it would it would hurt me and um, but after a, after a few painkillers the pain would go away and the next minute you know I'd be out on the on the drink again the next weekend after. Like most people do, they say, oh yeah, you're never gonna drink again. And then, yeah, next weekend, surely enough, you're getting absolutely blotto again. And I did that quite a bit. But yeah, towards the end there, the pains were just getting so much, it was horrible. But then, um, my my last weekend of drinking was, uh, was a massive one. Now, I've got a lot of musician friends and um, I was out seeing some music gigs in Barrel on my last weekend of drinking. I actually spent the night in Barrel and um, yeah, I, I, went, I, I, I went out Friday night to a pub in Barrel and uh, I, I was drinking pretty much from dinner time right up to closing time of the pub, which is about midnight, one o'clock. And uh, yeah, I got myself quite drunk that night and, and then went back to the motel room I was staying in and uh, then Saturday morning went back to the pub <laughs> the pub opened I think 10 or 11 o'clock down that way and um, yeah, got, got to know the staff quite well and they saw they saw us coming past the pub and they pretty much said, "Come in, let's have another. Let's let's let's, let's start again." And before you knew it, I basically spent the whole day in that in that pub again. Um, and I wasn't actually originally going to do that. I was going to drag it out a bit because I knew that I was going out to that pub again that night on the Saturday night to see an, another friend perform. And um, anyway. I let me drink so much that I ended up just basically spending the whole day at the pub right up till night time and yeah so I was like there for 12 hours or something and uh, got myself absolutely written off on the on the Saturday saw my mates perform that night by the time I got back to the um, room sat back to my motel room on Saturday night I was absolutely well Sorry to say, but I was legless, <laughs> and um, yeah, I 
and then um, yeah I but I, I did I, I loved my drinking back then so I didn't care like I, I was I was getting so smashed and I thought it was a lot of fun you know and I, I was getting myself to the point where I was actually at, like I was falling out of my chair and I was having to get mates to pick me up and um, and then yeah so after the band finished on the Saturday night went back to the room and I thought oh yeah uh, on so on on the Sunday I thought yeah I'll um, might have a couple couple more beers before we leave before we leave Barrel to head home on the train on Sunday afternoon and um, I ended up I was there from I was there from about I think ten or eleven in the morning till one o'clock in the afternoon for a few more and uh, yeah went home recovered for the rest of Sunday at home. And then I thought I thought to myself after this massive weekend of drinking, I thought, yeah, Monday's gonna be a killer. I thought oh, I was gonna have the worst hangover ever. And um, anyway, I woke up Monday morning and I felt perfectly fine. And like I was like, wow, I actually got away with uh, a whole big weekend of drinking and I felt fine. And I, I didn't know, I didn't know how it, how it happened. Um, yeah, so the, I just went about my day on the Monday and. Uh, yeah, so then I went to I went to bed Monday night and still feeling fine. And I woke up Tuesday and uh, could barely lift my head off the pillow. My whole body was in pain. And um, yeah, like basically my hot, my stomach my stomach was in absolute agony. And I tried to tried to sit up in bed and my head just didn't want to lift off the pillow because every time I went to move my head a little bit it would just it would force a big amount of pain straight through my whole body and um, yeah I I pretty much stayed like that for about a week and um, eventually when I, when I could sit up in bed um, got myself down to the doctor and the doctor said I told, told the doctor my story about my big weekend and he pretty much said to me, yeah, uh, we're going to give you a liver test. So I had a blood test done and uh, then I went back to the doctor three days later and he gave me my results and he said, um, said that he read out some numbers that he had written down on a bit of paper for my test. And he said that the numbers were three times higher than they should have been, and that um, he was actually quite worried. And um, and it was there and then that I basically decided that that weekend was my last weekend of drinking, because I never wanted to go through any any kind of experience like that ever again. Even though, like I'd said to myself, as I said before, like plenty of times that I'd gone out on the drink and said oh yeah I'll never get a drink again and then I'll drink again the next weekend I knew I knew that after that doctor's appointment that that definitely was my last time drinking um, and it probably took a good I think it was two weeks before the pain had completely gone um, and then I've got a bit of a funny story for you uh, when I when I did finally recover um, some friends of mine were playing a uh, a music music gig at another pub, and um, I ended up going going out to the to the club that to the to the place that night to see this music gig, and um, so I had a lot of mates there. They were all on the drink, and this was my first time going out since giving up the drink. And uh, I was at, I was I was I was wheeling myself through the through the place. With a, with a mate of mine, and he he stops stop he stopped me for a second. He says, "Oh, hold me beer for a sec while I go to the toilet." And I could not believe that a mate of mine had just asked me to hold his beer when I when I had only just given up the drink. And he was actually one of the band members that I'd been uh, that that I'd come to see at this at this venue. 
So for the rest of the night, the rest of his band members were giving him the biggest lot of crap and I was, I was laughing my head off. It was the funniest thing ever. That I, I just, yeah, I thought it was hilarious but I, at the same time I still couldn't believe that one of my friends had just given me a, a beer to hold just after I'd given up the drink. <laughs> um, and um, anyway, in the last two years, um, re the last two recent years, I've been um, been going through a bit of hell with my kidneys and um, the doctors now think that um, that pain that I was getting with my um, with drinking may have also been my kidneys and not just my liver um, and I'm actually down to one one kidney now and got to look after it so this is going to be my one and only non-alcoholic beer, even though it's got no alcohol in it, I'm still, I'm not going to have any more of these because it tastes too much like a real beer. <laughs> it's too tempting. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this and uh, thanks for listening and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye for now.